welcome back to Matt Talks Money, the podcast. This is the podcast where we talk about anything and everything to do with money, personal finance, and life. This is episode three of the money questions where I talk to my friends and family about anything and everything to do with money. Today we have our third guest, Daniel. Hello. Thank you for coming on. Yeah, no worries. It's been good. So tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, so I'm his, his brother. I'm 19. Uh, I go to Sussex Uni. Uh, I study economics as well, actually. So it's a good podcast to be on. Yeah, definitely. Very much so. I think you uh, copied me a little bit yeah. in, the, in, the, in the degree. Yeah, it's a good choice. Um, so tell everyone a bit about what you like to do in your spare time when you're not doing your degree. Um, so studying for it uh, right now, but there's not too much in the first year. Uh, I like to go to the gym, that's my main hobby. So right now it's not brilliant with the gyms aren't open, but right. doing stuff at home, investing gym in Daniel. equipment, yeah, it's good. Um, so I think you, you started a, an Instagram, TikTok Instagram page. Instagram and TikTok, like you, yeah. Yeah, so I, uh, I'm called DB Active, just out there. DB Active, um, his, uh, his stuff will be in the in the link below. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's, ju- it's just a little bit to do on the side, just to, just to keep time ticking over in lockdown, yeah. just showing what I've learned and just, maybe help some people improve and stuff, yeah. yeah. So you're just doing that with fitness, I'm trying to do a similar thing with money. A bit of a difference, but there's yeah. maybe some links there sometimes. Yeah, definitely. So, enough about fitness, let's talk about money. Yeah, that's what we're do here you, for. Do you like to talk about money? When someone brings up the, the topic of money, do you get like a bit awkward around it? I, you know. I wouldn't say awkward, I'd say it's a nice way to think about like motivating myself is mm. seeing, seeing people have a lot of money seeing people without a lot of money, seeing where can I fit in that, can I be motiv- Can I motivate myself, how can I motivate myself to become what I want to become, maybe yeah. wealthy, as wealthy as I, I'm not sure what that might be, but happy, happy wealthy, I guess. Yeah, so like you're a, like a willingness to learn from others, I think. Yeah, love learning from others, love seeing how people have made it, mm. what people do, what I need to do yeah. together. Very nice. Um, so if I said to you money and nothing else, What's the first word that comes to your head and why? I definitely say motivation. Motivation? I, okay. Motivation because without motivation you're not gonna get anywhere. Nothing's nothing falls from the tree. Nothing's gonna get you there without you putting in a little bit of effort. So I hope with a bit of motivation. That's why this with with, with the fitness just inside, everyone's gonna have motivation to mm. do that. Yeah. Same with money, to make money, to to look better at, do better by yourself. You need then. motivation to do that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah definitely. Good, good. Um, so, um, you do a little bit of, well, obviously, because I know you do a little bit of investing, but mm. would you ever get into anything like day trading, Forex, crypto, anything like that? I have actually researched about it a little bit because um, I know we spoke about yeah. investing, getting some tips from you, obviously. <laughs> um, but day trading, I think, is really risky. I know there are bots out there you can you can pay, you can yeah. get to do it for yourself. Who knows, it might be a thing, but I think for now it's something you need quite a bit of money for yeah. it to be properly invest properly like profitable. Yeah, I think I read somewhere you need you need like ten grand to start with Forex trading yeah. and that's a stupid amount it's, of money. Yeah, for now. So you you're know, just uh, sort of putting it in and just hope Yeah, it potential future opportunity, but for now you just sort of put it and in. And without without it research, without time spending to know yeah. how you actually do it, I don't think it's I think it's a lot of a lot of studying. Yeah. And half the time it's just guessing, educated. Bit guessing. of luck, maybe. Mm. It's not, I don't think it's worth it right now. Yeah. All right. So that's that. That's the forex trading bit done. Um, the thoughts on a credit card. I know this is a quite a recent thing for us. Yeah. Recently, I think you got it the same age as me, nine, nineteen. I'm yeah. nineteen, so I bought. I got mine really recently. Uh, I did it just to improve my credit score, keep my credit mm. score high. Um, so I put all my uni bills, anything on it. Yeah, because we've also got the because um, we you got one that gives you rewards, isn't it? Yeah, like uh, British Airways miles and yeah. stuff. So I think because you, of, you, yeah. go, you, go. you can get you can get credit cards with loads of benefits on it as a student and stuff. So mm. picking the right credit cards, I definitely think it comes with as well as increasing your credit score. I definitely think there are perks to it as well. Yeah, see, I didn't I didn't realise this until about a year ago, but. You know, spending ten pounds on your debit card has gives you no rewards, but spending ten pounds on a credit card could give you like ten or so avios. Yeah. And when, when people hear to... the word credit card, they obviously go like, "That's a bad." That they, yeah. Why, yeah. Why do you think that is? I just think these adverts on TV yeah, yeah. and people say oh, they get these stupid interest rates. It's, it's just gets in people's heads like, "Oh, they associate straight away with bad things." Hmm. But if you if you're careful and then you you put things on your credit card because you mean to. 
uh, not because you can't, not because you can't afford them, just because you know you can pay them off. And yeah. Then, and then you can increase your credit score. And then if you pay good. off at the end of the month, it's fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, better get spending on the credit card. Yeah, no, I will be. Um, so we've done credit cards. What about um, property? Any thoughts mm. about getting into property later in life? Obviously, I know it's a bit later early Later in life, I was going to say. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing I find quite interesting is like real estate, like invest, buying a property, redoing it to mm -hmm. a certain degree and then selling it on for profit and just... So you buy like a really manky looking house? Uh, yeah. I mean, it. one that can be done out. Yeah, yeah. Um, like buy it for like hundred k, sell it for two hundred k, something. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a that's a dream. That'd be a great yeah. that'd be a great source of income. But would you do that personally, or would you like, obviously hire other people to do that? Or depends what I, depends what I enjoy. I haven't I haven't started. I haven't really looked into it. Yeah. But I know people can get a lot of money from it. So yeah. If I find it interesting, then yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think my my thoughts on property is more like oh, like a passive. A, like a landlord type thing that's yeah. a bit more passive buy a house rent it out get the yeah when you get the rent to pay the not mortgage to be, not too hands-on not no. too like, no. i think um, but if i could have you know three or four of them and then yeah. that could pay for my mortgage then yeah. you know that's yeah. not bad at all so talking about the future um mm. i think you i don't think I, the last time i've seen you with cash you know because i think Especially our era, like it's all online. It's all it's online. All, it's all mobile, mobile banking, online. So, banking. do you reckon in, you know, when we and you have kids in you know, so many times in so many years, do you reckon coins will eventually be dead? Yeah, I think so. I think I think they're off. I think we're talking. We were talking about crypto. Potentially, everyone does online banking. Uh, you got everything on your phone now. All mm. your bank cards on your phone. You won't even need a wallet, really. It's all, no. it's all on your phone. I think by the time we're 70, 80, I think crypto will be the main currency. Well, currencies, mm -hmm. you know. I agree. Because it's so easy to, you know, you, I could send money to, I could send crypto to someone in, you know, the middle of India, just with a number. Yeah. And then yeah, yeah. there's no fees. Yeah. Oh, hardly any fees. Agreed. All right, so that's the that's the future of money, maybe. Yeah. We'll see what happens when we're 70. Um, I'm talking about the future and later in life. Um, you sometimes see people's aspirations to be like financially free. Mm. What would be like your interpretation of that? Would you like to be you know, when would you like have a, have enough free. money to think? Yeah, you know, you're free type thing. How much money? How much money? That's a hard question. Okay, um, what 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 things in your life would be in place? Mortgage paid off. Yeah. Steady income. Steady. I'm not not sure. likely to get like laid off anytime soon, sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Happy. Well, happy is a word that can't really be defined, but like yeah. a job where I'm feel I'm comfortable in. I'm going to be there for a while. Maybe have some promotion opportunities. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm not sure. Just comfortable, have steady income, some investments on the side that can increase that. Yeah. Mortgage paid off, I'd say. Yeah. Very nice. Um, in terms of financial freedom, um, on the back of that, yeah. Growing up, when we, for anyone who doesn't know, we both worked at Waitrose. Um, I worked there before Daniel, and I would get most of my income. I think we got about four hundred pound a month. Mm. Four fifty, yeah. Something like that. I would spend most of it because um, before I became a bit more financially aware I'd like to spend it a lot. I don't think you've spent anywhere no. near the amount of money I no, spent. No, I remember. You're quite... You know, I like reckon spending. I'd say before you started reading books, which I know you spoke about in the past, mm. you used to spend a lot and now reading those books it's like changed your mindset of yeah, money. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, I've, always, I've always just saved a lot and then spent it on things I needed, not just like little things on the side. So like investments... Might be might be a nice pair of headphones, or fairly nice clothes, but I'm not spending them all the time. Yeah. Buying it when I so need have it. you ever have you ever regretted buying anything because of that? No, you've always been like, I really definitely want this before I'm going to buy it. Yeah. yeah. No, I have to really like something to actually buy it. First, yeah. I'd say. I think though, in a way, like me, I think I can't remember what it was, but I definitely regretted buying something. But then I learned a lesson from that. It's in like yeah. to never do sometimes, that again. Sometimes that's got to be the way. Yeah. Sometimes learn from your mistakes. Exactly. So, um, in terms of a uh, dream job, any ideas what a dream job would be? I should know one now. I don't know. I don't know. No. I mean, you've got the just real estate you, thing. You've got just something you enjoy. I do like. I do like seeing stocks go up. I do like. Seeing, like <laughs> Who doesn't? Stuff like mate? That, but then it's a hard job. Yeah, it's definitely. a stressful job. So, quick question on that: Would you rather be in a job you enjoy with a lower income, or a job? that paid really high, 
but it gave you lots of stress and you had to work really long hours. I, uh, it's going back to that stock, that idea of an investment banker kind of <clears throat> yeah. thing being a second choice. I'd, I'd have to, with that, with the thought of that long hours, stressful hours, maybe if you have a partner or something, it might become problematic that yeah. way. I'm gonna have to go for the enjoyment. Yeah, medium I think it depends on the level of stress. It does. If when, you, it, when you said longer hours, I thought that's a that's a problem. Yeah, if you're working, you know, forty hours, that's not too bad. Yeah. If you're working eighty hours, it's a yeah, it's yeah. a bit difficult. So, tough question. Well, not not, not tough for you actually. More tough for me. Yeah. Do you enjoy making money or spending it? I know, yeah, I know what your option is, but <laughs> no, I definitely definitely making. Yeah. Because I, I do like knowing I have savings mm -hmm. um, and depends what I'm spending it on but knowing that I have that to rely on making money and then just keep increasing my savings sometimes yeah. it's that's what I definitely take, prefer that. See I, I think my, I, I don't prefer spend, I, anyone who knows me knows I like to make money as well as spending mm -hmm. it but I like to make enough money to also enjoy spending it you know yeah. so I haven't really lost any out because I've made the money to then go and spend yeah. it. Um, that's what money's there for, I guess. Yeah, I mean, Make money. Money's. A, I think money's a tool to aid you to do things. Like without money, it's really hard to do certain things. Yeah. Money doesn't buy happiness and stuff, but it definitely helps. Definitely helps. Open doors in yeah. certain places. Mm. So, if I was to give you some money, let's say, let's say I had ten grand to give you, but you had to start a business with it, what would you go into? Would it be? Would Jim, it be the real estate? Not I'd, the real estate. I uh, can't really go mm. over ten grand. Yeah, I'd maybe, mm, I've, I have, yeah, something to do with what I enjoy, so gym right now. Yeah, so what would you do with 10 grand? What would you do? Another Ben Francis, kind of. Gym shark. Entrepreneur, kind of, well, yeah. He's quite young, isn't he? I think he's like mm, 20 something. He's like 27 or so. He's done really well for himself. Would you create your own, like, gym brand? Yeah, I love gym, shop. gym training mm. plans. Yeah. Maybe some clothing, some, yeah, just some products and gym equipment. Promote it on Instagram. Create a website. TikTok. <laughs> TikTok, 100%. Become uh, famous on TikTok. And then who knows, if that grows then, getting something else, like what we said. Yeah. Real estate. So I think I think having a lot more incomes, more just more than one, one income, yeah. is definitely, definitely better. So you would, um, would you, do you have any plans to, you know, do the typical, I don't know if you thought about it, the typical retiring at 65, then doing crosswords mm -hmm. all days, would that bore you to death? Do, does that excite you? I don't know. 65 is quite young. Yeah. Maybe maybe 10 years on that. I think it's quite young if you're doing a non-labor intensive job. If you're doing like, yeah. you know, a builder or a bricklayer, yeah. it's quite intense to mm -hmm. do. But I agree. I think it depends what job. Who knows what job I'm going to have. I think then. your job will do something to do with your mind, you know, yeah. using yeah. so that, that that will I think you can carry on that for a while afterwards. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If it's not too intense, oh, I don't. Actually, that's a good question. I wonder how how long you'll keep gymming it. Yeah. The whole point I'd you love, saying? I love to keep training. Sixty till sixty. Your yeah. body's your body's gonna obviously look different. You have to you have to cut down maybe two three times a week. Yeah. But just keeping up that fitness. When do you reckon it's gonna like you know? Yeah. Obviously, because now you're like prime sort of thing. Yeah. When does it when does it start to turn? What 30, 40? 30, 30, 40. I mean, lifestyle choices depends who I'm with, what yeah. job I have. I have to cut down the hours, cut down the time I spend in the gym. Motivation might fade off as with yeah. work, which is too much stress. I don't know. So don't know that'd be interesting to see actually. When you're still at 60, you're just like still, still going, still to, going the to the gym. So final two questions. Um, I've asked the, the previous two guests, this is quite an interesting question. I've actually asked this one, but the one after this. Would you rather have a shot at a 50 50 shot at one billion billion pounds or a guaranteed million pounds right now so 50 percent chance of getting a billion which is obviously a lot, lot more than a million or guaranteed million so i'd say here you've got two arguments you've got why not go for the shot because if you miss it you haven't lost anything true you you're back to where you were which if it's not in a terrible position then it's fine yeah but then you've got the other shot of having a million straight away in your bank account to do whatever you want with. Hmm. A lot can go to charity, a lot can go to investments, a lot can go on paying off any university debts, yeah. paying off, putting a mortgage, putting a hmm. time for a mortgage. So uh, what would you do? Uh, 
I bet if you took the the, the, the lottery of 50-50 and you lost, you'd be so gutted. You think, yeah, I, I could have just had a million in my account. But then, could you, if you took the million, could you live with yourself thinking, I could have had a billion? I, I, think, I think I'd be more happy to see my investments grow mm -hmm. from the one million. So you take the million, invest it, and watch it grow. Watch it grow. I think I'd be happier to see that than have nothing and then cool. be like, I could have invested so much more. Yeah. So final question, now that you've said you take the million, what would you do roughly with that million? <coughs> right. Anything, I'm you could do anything. I'm more of a saver, so easily 90% savings. Mm -hmm. um, with, with, I think. Would you, take, would you do then, any, put any with it to the property side of it? Like you said, you wanted to get into? If, you, if it was the right time in your life? If, yeah, if I've, if I've researched a lot about it, yeah. and know how I'd go about it, worth a shot, yeah. I mean, it, a million is a lot of money to comprehend, but yeah, it's a lot of money. Um, investments, I think, sorry to go. Yeah, would Steady you? Investment. Is there anything you would go and spend just for the sake of having so much money you'd go and buy? There's got to be something. Car, nice car, nice car. I think cars. I don't think cars are great purchases. No. no, they're not. They're not. They're not very good economic decisions, but they look cool. They look cool. What would, you, what would be your dream car? McLaren 720. Yeah. How much is that going to cost you? 208k. Yeah, but well, that's, a, that's that's I think that's quite a lot you of can't your million. Buy a car like that in the UK. That's quite a lot of your million, but yeah, you can't really use it on the back roads of Wokingham, can you? No, no. I think moving to a, let's say America. Yeah. Um, I think of cars a potential investing investing opportunity, but not right now. No. Um, so that's what you do with a million pounds. Save house. Invest. Invest, look at properties, enjoy. Very nice. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming on. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, it's been great. It's actually been um, exciting to yes. understand how this works and how <laughs> you've grown this and how it's going to get started. I wonder what, what will happen in, uh, in 60 years. No. Six years? No, 40 years, whether you're still trading and I'm still doing something to do with money. We'll see. We will be. We'll see. We will. Uh, thank you for watching, listening, guys. Um, the next episode, uh, my girlfriend Emily's going to be coming on. That should be interesting, mm. shouldn't it? Um, but yeah, thank you for watching as ever. Um, if you jo enjoyed the content and you're watching on YouTube, please give it a like, uh, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.